Alright, welcome back to the flip flop. Ah, gosh, it's so windy. This video is going to be ruined. Um, a little different. Instead of working on cars today, we're going to be working on this mower here. I don't know what year it is. Early 2000, 2008 ish? Six? Four? No idea. It probably tells you somewhere, but we don't really care. It's an old Hustler Fast Track. One of the good ones before they turned into junk. Um, we got an axle seal that's leaking, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then this, what's this, a charge something? Charge seal. Charge seal. It's warped, and it's leaking. We got new filters for the hydraulic motors. We got a new bracket here. Uh, we're gonna do an oil change. We got a drive belt. So she's gonna get some love today. Hopefully it's not a piece of junk by the end of the day. So, so we're using a 28 millimeter socket. Um, it's probably supposed to be standard size, but it's fine. So he's gonna hold the axle while I break it. on there so we got this bearing puller we put it on the back side of the flange and now we're gonna tighten this up we're unsuccessful with getting the flange off we stripped a puller and everything so we're moving on um, pretty disappointed to get defeated by a lawnmower, but we're going to move on to the filter here. No, that's too big. We're going to take this cover off. And the filter. So this cover here. It's held on with three three-eighths bolts. Um, and then you take your filter off. That's how you drain it. Um, and we're going to take this thing off, and that's two three-eighths bolted. So this is our new charge kit guy. There's the part number right there, our serial number. Um, so these old ones, they warp, and then this O-ring, it leaks, and this, as you can tell, they beeped it up a lot. So what you gotta do is take these gears out, it's like a little oil pump, and you put them in here. So that's what it looks like there. Then you gotta line up this with the shaft that comes out of the mower. And we're gonna clean up the mower underneath so we don't get any gunk in here because it's super dirty. This mower's been neglected. That's on, we're gonna do the hydraulic oil filter. You want an oil filter wrench for this? Well, you can probably try your hand actually. Maybe it's not that tight. Yeah, it's on there, I think. Mm -hmm. But this is too small. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Take that any day. Looks a little dirty. Must be two quarts. In each motor? In each drive. Man, it's quite a bit actually. Alright, here's the new part number. 
I'm going to write the date that we did this on. Gosh. Drink another one. Notice that your steering goes out. It could be this control arm piece right here. Ours was broken up top, so we welded it. So I'm moving the stick. So we welded it, but we're gonna replace it anyway. And here's the part number for that. Seven one six three three control arm kit. It comes with a little bit different hardware though. It comes with this like Torx bolt. When so I don't know. This could be. And this is a half inch soccer. So the new kit for some reason comes with a, a bolt but it's a T40 for some odd reason. This is how it's supposed to work. All right, so the next thing on our list is to fix this fan. It's supposed to look like that. But that's what this looks like. So I got this new one. Here's the... Well, that's the this one. There's the new part number. And it's three... Three eighths screws bolts on the top. These don't need to be crazy tight.
这么夸张？At least one side's good. Ours are super tight. We probably should have done this first, as a matter of fact. We're using a wrench as a breaker bar around the Allen key. Take those out, these little guys here in quarter inch Allen key. That's a good time right there. Yeah, ours were way too tight. So you want to fill it with 2050. So this is what we got going on now. Oh shit. Did you not see it? Number four going in. Now you want to watch her wee pulls. And you gotta let this thing kind of soak down in there, or else it'll overflow. So this wee pull over here. It's full. This side hasn't done anything, but I'm wondering if it's just because this side's a little lower. So we're going to put the cap in this side also. So we got both plugs back in. Now we're just putting the rest of this. We got to do a half. Yeah.
oil change. Normally you have a tube that you hook to that drain thing, but we didn't have one big enough, so we just put a funnel there in this drain pan. Our filter was super loose so we just went ahead and took it off but here's the filter we're gonna use got that auto zone then we're also gonna be using 10w40 um the dipstick says 10w30 but it, it'll be fine and we got three quarts i don't even know how much it holds but i'm gonna go ahead and oil this o-ring tighten it see how much oil it takes. It says not to screw it. Just stick it like that. And it needs more oil. So now we're moving on to the drive belt. Um, first up, get your deck belt off of here. And then there's this, this arm for this pulley and you gotta take this spring off with some pliers or something all right now once you do all that you just gotta get it over the fans all right now i'm taking it off this pulley here Here's the old one. That ain't good. Here's the new part number. Looks like it's the same size. Video of the condition of that one? Yeah. Yeah, this one's about done for. The deck belt's not in terrible condition. No. It's kind of a little bit fraying a little bit, but nothing serious. So we did this wrong. If you put it on both the fan pulleys first, it's hard to get it around the actual pulley for the engine be careful with those blades yeah can you push it okay it's above it so we have it on one fan and now he's going to put it on the pulley for the engine i guess it'd be the crank or something Okay, we're on top. Okay, now I'm gonna feed this my little Deja Vu. Alright, so we still didn't have enough slack, so now we're gonna take this fan off again. Just the three eighths. Alright, so that's on there. Just put your fan back on. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Just take the fan off. It takes yeah. 30 seconds.
high-speed power washing this thing. Set my phone up. better so after we did all that work my dad decided he wanted to sell it um, we already have a zero turn um, this one he just wanted to fix up a little bit so we fixed it up um, it actually didn't run there for a while um, and that wasn't on the video but we got it running and then did a bunch of work to it still never got to the axle seals but um, the buyer was informed of that, and he was all right with it. Um, yeah, it turned out to be a pretty good mower. It ran good, mowed good. Um, the, the transmission hydraulic gear motor things worked good. So, we're pretty happy with it. Made a little money, so. Hope this helped everyone. Thanks for watching.